Operation Wallacea expedition here in Peru is quite different and that the students can expect to stay and live on one of our historical boats. And then we travel up river for approximately two days where the students will get the majority of their lecture series. So we do uh, dock the boat and we have basically our floating research station, at which point the students will then be able to head out on their surveys. So the students have a full suite of surveys uh, ranging from wading birds, looking at macaws, reptiles, so particularly caimans is a great survey that they run here, going out at night and looking for reflection in the caiman's eyes, then going up and the guides will pick up the caiman. I go out more or less at half eight in the evening um, on a boat. We go straight into the floating vegetation along the river and we try and identify and eventually catch and measure all the frogs that we see there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So my role is to uh, lead surveys, mostly in mist netting, uh, to test for bird abundance and diversity. We've, we've seen a lot of different species of woodcreepers, woodpeckers, ant birds, ant wrens, kingfishers. We've seen macaws and parrots, parakeets, egrets, cormorants, hawks, and you name it. There are over 260 bird species within Pacaya Samiria alone, and about 1,800 different species in Peru. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to come away with Operation Wallacea um, to carry out my dissertation in the middle of the Amazon rainforest and spend six weeks in an environment which is completely foreign and completely different to anything I've ever experienced. It's just brilliant. Um, all of the data that I actually collect gets compiled and it goes on to help preserve the wildlife. So not only am I conducting my dissertation and my research, I'm actually helping to contribute to a, a wider cause, which is, again, once in a lifetime, it's, it's amazing. Amazon is the greatest river in the world. It's the thing that you grow up watching documentaries on, like David Attenborough. Iraq, you see such a richness of species, and you see local people living in an intact ecosystem. It's, yeah, it's just beautiful. Boat life is absolutely very fun because basically you are in a hotel that is floating on the Amazon River, which is quite nice, absolutely. Boat life is brilliant. I wake up every morning and look out the window, and there are pink river dolphins just just swimming by, grey dolphins, turtles, all sorts, it's brilliant. It's great fun and of course it's like living in a community because you get to know each other very very well. You will be sharing rooms with, with people that you didn't meet before, so yeah, you, you can kind of bond quite well. So it's really an amazing place to stay, not many people get the opportunity. It's a, it's a really unique experience for the students, uh, being able to, to move their way into the heart of the Pacaya Samaria as well. We have a system here, which is an indigenous based system, and it's working. People now see giant river otters every day here. Dolphin numbers are higher than they've ever been. Weidenberg numbers are higher than they've ever been. Uh, we're starting to see primates, we've never seen them before. To me, the Amazon rainforest means it's, it's incredible and a bit of a dream come true to be here. It, it'll make you go home and want to look for the beauty in, in the ecosystems around you and want to conserve those and, and interact with those 